Hey guys, it's Artifact, and yes, I've seen the clip of Christoph Hayes and the Ashes of Creation. I've also seen the Narc reaction to it, and I also think Vladis responded to it too. And so I'm just throwing my name in the ring. I'm gonna try to keep this as civil as I can though, because it's I'm not a fan of YouTube drama, and I just kind of want to do my own thing. So doing like replies and responses and things like this won't happen very often, but uh, it's easy content, so, you know, I'll throw my name in the goblet of fire. Let's get into it. So the first thing I want to say is I agree with Nark that he's getting Pantheon and Ashes of Creation confused with each other because I don't think Chris keeps tabs on uh, Ashes of Creation the way we do in the community. I'm sure to someone f looking from the outside probably thinks Pantheon and Ashes are the same game sometimes just because they are so close to each other. They're both privately funded they both have the same ambitions, it feels like, and all that other stuff. And Nark can put put it into words better than I can. That being said, to add my own opinions to it, I don't really blame anyone for being skeptical of Ashes of Creation because I've been there. And it wasn't until I started to look into it is when I started to change my mind. And I'll tell you right now, for the most part, I believe in Ashes, and it gets more and more. I believe in Ashes more and more as, a, as the dev updates roll out, and as they do little things here and there. To be fair, I still have some things I'm worried about. I am afraid that that game's gonna be so niche that the growth potential for the game is going to be extremely limited past the honeymoon phase. And I'm also afraid that new players are gonna have a hard time getting in past the honeymoon phase. So even I have my doubts about the game. So when someone says this game might come out someday, this game might be good, I don't fault that attitude just because it's so easy to have games are hyped to the moon and then they fall on their face. Final Fantasy, my favorite game in the world, was so bad when it came out, they need to tear it down for a year and re-release it. That's why they call it a Realm Reborn. It was so bad, it's a part of the storyline that they blew up the world. Destiny had a lot of hype. And it kind of sucked until the Taken King came out. Destiny 2 had a lot of hype, and that game fell on its face. In fact, a lot of Destiny 1 players never came back to D2. It was so bad. So I don't fault anyone for looking from the outside into Ashes of Creation and then saying, I don't trust this game. I think it's going to be bad. Or... Look at this game that's never gonna come out. I know for me, I personally like the games that come out of nowhere. Kind of like Anno Mutatium, DNF Duel. Games that don't have a lot of hype behind them. That just kind of shadow release. Because my heart is broken less when they suck. I do hope he takes that interview with Steven Sharif that Steven offered him. Because I would love to see those two go at it. That'd be like a WWE event, which I just watched a WWE pay-per-view and I'm insanely sad. Sorry, Drew McIntyre. You'll always be my favorite. <laughs> but that's not Ashes of Creation. That's. But yeah, at the end of the day, I don't think Chris said anything wrong. I don't think the community should be triggered and I really see where he's come from and that's not even me sucking up because if you want my opinions I don't watch Chris Draft Hayes I just prefer not to watch him 
we'll leave it at that. But in this instance, I don't think he's in the wrong. I think he just sees a crowdfunded MMO. I don't think he follows it. And he's like, if it comes out, if it's good, it's good. If it's not, well then, I won't be surprised. At the end of the day, there's absolutely nothing here to get triggered by. I've said it multiple times. I don't think he's in the wrong. I think he's just voicing his opinions. And heaven knows I have bad ashes takes, right? I'm the idiot that said it should go to Game Pass because I was kind of high on Xbox at the time. Those are my opinions about the whole thing. At the end of the day, I don't think there's anything here. And it'll all blow over by Monday. It's not like he's blindly hating on the game. It's not like he's calling it a scam or anything like that. He's just saying it might not come out. He's just saying if it ever comes out, it might be good. Try to be civil in the comment sections. Don't duke it out too much. And if you are going to duke it out, keep it clean. Right? Don't name drop or anything like that. That's not one of the communities. I want to run. So, uh, you know, no open palms when you swing. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching and Artifact Out.